Ruiz's chin early. It's not just the layoff, Bob, you mentioned 552 days, but it's the fact that Ruiz's last fight was his only loss, a knockout defeat in two rounds to Puerto Rican Javier Flores. Hey, what do you make of the fact, Sean and BC, about Momenoff is part of the Joel Diaz stable yeah. with Oscar Garcia Sr. in the corner tonight, but he was with Manny Robles, who is the trainer for Angel Ruiz. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I, I thought that that, or I think that it could help uh, Ruiz having the fact that he's got a former trainer of uh, Bobby in his corner, kind of giving the, the the small secrets or you know so on and so forth. So um, I think that, uh, that that's pretty interesting. You don't see that too often. Both guys are working very well too. Both guys are. You know, you see strategy in, in both guys uh, and their boxing ability and what they're trying to do. The overhand right there, uh, specifically, I see being thrown um, frequently by Bobby. They've all come up short, but it's only a matter of time before you find your range and distance. Sean, you always expect early on orthodox fighter versus the southpaw, in this case Ruiz the southpaw, to watch the footwork. You saw them tangle right there. Yeah. Sometimes you take a couple rounds to try to figure out the dance and see who's going to take the lead. How do you like Ruiz's ability to keep his foot on the inside so far? Well, it, 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 he, he wants to keep his foot on the outside. It, it gives a, a small, when you keep your foot on the outside, it gives a small um, angle on the power punch, which is the backhand. And so I like that Ruiz, if you notice, he takes a wide step out when he wants to deliver the left hand. See that? And then he gets to the outside. So, And then he, again, he's forcing Bobby into the left hand as well. So that's good. Bobby's a little bit of a slickster himself. He can move, can will and deal. I like both guys. Good short right hand there from Ruiz. He's got nearly a four-inch reach advantage entering this one. Very, both guys have very good technique too, because um, if you, we were looking at Ruiz's, we were looking at Ruiz's outside foot, you know, to start, and now I'm taking a look at Bobby's foot. When he wants to deliver the right hand, he's doing the exact same thing right there. You see him step out, wide step to the left, and try to deliver a punch. Well, after watching Barrios' style in the last fight, these two look like Sugar Ray Leonard. That was low. That was low. Come on, time. Time. You can walk that off. Walk that off, okay? Cry. Just got to deal with it. Time! Fellow supporters and um, fighters of our country. Now, Jamel, be honest, you can't walk five feet on this campus without seeing beat Navy. I don't see a lot of beat Marines. We're okay here. <laughs> Army and Marines. Hey, hey, they ain't crazy. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, you know. I mean, shout out to my boy Stephen Nelson, but you know, who's an army veteran himself, but they're not crazy. We I was are. wondering, I said nobody <laughs> cares about the Marines here. Like, they're not tough enough. What's going on? Huh? No, I wouldn't say Speak that. Speak up for the Marines. <laughs> Speak up for them. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, I wouldn't say that. Super power. <laughs> Both guys throwing some leather this round. Ruiz looks upset about the, the low blows, the good low blows, right, Jamel? I mean, right, he's going the wrong way. You, you yeah. know, like, he's the southpaw, he's, he's, range, he's a bit rangy, mm -hmm. but he, he's going to, to his left, and he's getting lined up with that right hand. That's not where you want to be at. A lot of guys fall in love with the power, especially when they're getting knockouts early on in their career, and they lose track of who they should be or could be in the ring. Use your range, use your distance. You got a forearm. Reach advantage. Use that jab and set up the power. Don't just walk in for it. But this is why the fundamentals are very important. And Ruiz doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to have his back against the rope. Those ropes either. Yeah. Especially, especially with him being so tall. He's standing straight up and he's lining himself up with potentially all over him right. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Bobby's all over the place. He's throwing punches from different angles. Some of them are landing low, which is unfortunate. It could cost him a point at some point. I don't see that being something that's going to stop. I think that that's the way he throws his punches, and right now they're landing low. Even that one landed a little low. Yeah, Mobinov's got to be careful because he's doing his best work to yeah. the body, but I don't know how much longer Charlie Fitch is going to let him go when yeah. these get borderline. Yeah. My dad would say, Sean, no more body shots, you know? 
when they when they're landing yeah. low like that. Yeah, and something that my trainer Red Spikes will always say, with a guy like Ruiz who's tall and rangy, he's cut, he's standing too straight up. He's not, you know, he needs to um change change levels. And what that means is when he's after he makes his attack, he needs to change the center of, gra center of gravity and slide out on the angle instead of going straight back out. That's how, he's getting hit. That's how he's getting hit with those with those overhand rights. Yep, I was going to say, the, the other side of that too is that he pulls straight back. With the, You said he stands straight up and he also is pulling straight back. There's an overhand right that's just waiting in the land on the chin if somebody pulls straight back like that. Trust me, I, I know. I get yelled at uh -oh. sometimes making the same mistakes <laughs> at times. So it, it happens. Interesting too because each guy has some moments in yeah. these rounds. Yeah. There's nothing clear cut. Final seconds of round two in this scheduled eight rounder. Welterweights live from West Point on Ring City, USA. After a long drought. Round number three underway. No knockdown so far in the fight. Pretty even fight through the first two. And I believe Ruiz is still going the wrong direction. And but but Momonov is, isn't cutting off the ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's letting him slide out. Let's bring in current. Current. Corbijan Mominov, of course, from Kazakhstan. When we think Kazakhstan, we of course think Triple G. And Momonov is actually from the same town and has the same amateur coach as Golovkin. But he told me this week he actually helped Triple G's rival Canelo prepare for their first meeting, which, of course, you remember that was a controversial draw. Momonov told me this week, right now, Kazakhstan is only Triple G. I'm trying to become the next guy. Back to you guys. Hey, you got to go where the paycheck is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I see I see Ruiz again try to complain about a, a low blow, but he needs to focus on what's in front of him. He can't, always, he can't rely on the referee to always step in at times. He has to continue keeping his composure and fighting his fight. You can't worry. You know, you can't do too much complaining because it's going to get you out of your element and out of your game eventually, and you're going to just be all off, off rhythm. Yep. And Bobby's got to cut off the ring. And, and if and when he's able to do that, then he's, he's going to be able to connect. But another thing I like to see Bobby do is start to faint to the body now. You got him looking for the body shots and, and or over, uh, 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 low blows. Now you can open up the, the head because now you're fainting to the body, and that's what Ruiz is expecting. Nice body, nice body shot. Yeah, Ruiz let his hands go. Momonov just kind of leaned against his chest and said, go ahead, hit me. Good body shot. A good angle right there. Nice, nice combination by Momonov. Yeah. His ability to pivot, meaning Momonov, when he gets close, is really becoming a dynamic part of this fight, which is seemingly giving him the advantage this round. He's landing the better shots when they get together. We call it getting offline. When you get offline, most guys don't expect those fast stepovers or those fast pivots. When you get offline, it opens up opportunities for you, and that's what Bobby. I'll tell you doing. who didn't expect that: Errol Spence when you <laughs> fought him, Sean, in 2019. <laughs> and then the pivot. I like it. See, you right, know? right there, Ruiz is walking straight in. He should be using this jab and getting out the way. You know, getting his shots up and getting him straight get out the way. There we go. Break. Yeah, Momonov, so. Momonov also has, you can tell he has an issue of fighting going backwards. So Ruiz needs to implement his jab a lot more and push him backwards. Because when Momonov comes forward, that's when he's dangerous. Come to the end of round three, scheduled for eight. Momonov and Ruiz. Situation, but you know, my team knew what I was capable of, and we just used that all that negative energy and attention that we were getting at the time, and we just used that as fuel in go. training camp. There you go. Did what you were supposed to do, man. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Thank you. You know, sometimes in boxing, Jamel, you can, at least in the terms of the public eye, can only be good as your last performance. And that may have been the case in the close Okendo fight, which you won, but retiring the great Carl Frampton, you can't be in any better position moving forward now. Oh, yeah. And, you know, sky's the limit right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, you know, enjoying the moment. And I look forward to getting back in there myself. Do you guys get a sense here in this fight that Momonov is developing a little bit of momentum here. Yeah, do you see it? He's, he's stepping forward. He's bringing combinations, and then he's stepping around. He's boxing very smart. 
and he's boxing with a lot of structure right nice now. Nice combination like by Ruiz, though. Nice combination. Needs to continue backing him up, though. Right there, he does, that's where he doesn't need to be yet. Eats a left at the end of that. Right now, he's just following. Yeah, we, Ruiz looks lost at times. It, it, it's as if he doesn't know yet what role he should be. He should play in this fight. He's not jabbing. He's not throwing combinations. More looking to sniper one at a time. Good body shot. Good uppercut. Good uppercut. I think a lot of guys don't, they don't really understand that you, the most, when you, when you deliver a punch with power, the end of the shot is where that power is the most effective. And a lot of guys don't really understand range of distance it seems to be the case with Ruiz. Tell you one distance he doesn't need to be Sean is against the ropes and while you did maybe question Momonov for not cutting off the ring in the most typical orthodox way with his footwork more often than not we're seeing Ruiz's back against the rope so it is paying off that forward pressure well you know in this round he's not moving the same and then you know the tables have turned a little bit now he's going after Bobby yeah now Momonov is the one boxing mm -hmm. but but he's doing it he's dictating the pace he's dictating the the fight and where it's going to happen at he, he, he's going to punch when he wants to punch, and I think he's got Ruiz uh, moving to the beat of his drum. He doesn't need to be right. He doesn't need to be there. Good uppercut inside by Momonov. Momonov just keeps kind of pressing him, pressing him. Like we've seen pressure tonight. Cruz, that's going to be part of her game plan. Going to be a, a part of, a uh, big part of Erica's game plan is going to be pressure. That's kind of just her, her game in general. But, you know, you have uh, Jelena who, who has a high work rate. The only way you can be something like that is is being having an even higher work rate than, than someone such as Jelena. All right, second half of the fight underway as we begin round number five. and. How does Steve Smoger have this score? All right, uh, I've got uh, Mamadov winning. Uh, I think it would be uh, three rounds to one. Ruiz came on in the last round with nice combinations, and he's shooting some nice shots now. So maybe he's way awakened. So competitive fight, guys. Mm -hmm. now, Ruiz hurt him with that uppercut, that left uppercut. He hurt him with that left uppercut. Again, another fight that's not easy to score. Uh, I, I have it three rounds to one as well for Bobby. Uh, but Ruiz, is, it, it seems like, it almost seems like he's one punch away or one combination away from taking control. Nice job there by Momonov stepping around and then landing the right hand. Well, certainly this round is gonna raise Ruiz's confidence. You can tell, Sean, he does believe in his power. And, and he was able to rock Momonov there. Let's see if he can stay on him and it really become the role of the aggressor to try to hurt him once more. And I think, I think he can do it again. He just has to put them all together. You know, he can't just look for one shot. He has to set his shots up. Start using the jab on, the, you know, to set it up. He can't, he can't, he can't just throw it out there. He has to set it up first and start, you know, and start creating openings. I couldn't have said it any better. He's got to use combinations. He's got to use that lead hand. Use the jab. It's going to get Bobby off balance. It's going to prevent Bobby from walking up on you like he's doing right here. You found the uppercut this time, but what happens next time? What happens this time? Let's see. Another oh, overhand. Right again. Yeah. <laughs> he found it again, but then he got countered with a right hand too, you know? It's it's almost like he's it's it's like he's setting himself up, but but willing to take a chance. Oh, oh that's, that's low. low. That's low. Come here. One point. Slow blow. Charlie Fitch right. taking a point away, and that could be huge. Yes. Yes. He's wasting yes. no time with this. <laughs> One point, no Come blow. On, Bobby. Come on. Guys, when you consider you that Momonov was already hurt early in this round, this could end up being a two-point swing. Okay. Yeah, uh -oh. You are correct, yeah. You got time here, okay? Oh, he's crying. From going to the body, because you're in danger of not lo not only losing a another point, but potentially getting DQ'd. Yeah. No, the next one is is going to be a DQ. Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah, the next one will be a DQ. Oh! That's my left hand! Two! That's another point. Body. 
Step to me. Step to me. Walk to me. Okay, you're good. Momenov was down in his last fight in September. Eats a left and goes down. Ruiz trying to finish him off. That was a left hand from hell. Ruiz fired up. Good, Good lock up. Bobby's got to move, and then he's got to find a, a way to lock up Ruiz. Either move, be slippery, or grab him. You got to survive. Survival mode. He survived. What a swing that was. And so he's, he, you know, he's. I think he's much more alive than uh, than, than we than, than we would expect him to be. You see, right now he's still getting his leg. Uh huh. You know, still collecting himself right here. I gotta imagine the corner saying, "Hey, stay away from him. Create some space and some distance. Shake the cobwebs." Yeah, man. You know, it sounds crass, but that might be the best thing that happened to Ruiz. Getting woken up like that. He is an emotional fighter. Maybe that's not always the preferred way, but. When he's peaking, when he's putting it all into it, you saw his full potential there. Let's check in with Curran. Here in the blue corner with Manny Robles. Manny, what did Ruiz find in that last round to get that big knockdown? I think it was a low blow. He was tired of getting hit low. He got hit low in round one and again in round five. What did yeah, you tell your I, fighter I, I while he was count, recovering? I must, have count, I must have counted about six, seven low blows already. And, but uh, I, I told him to stay calm and collect it, let the referee do his job, and, and, and just stick to the fight. You know, keep being aggressive, but stay compact, stay tight, cut off the ring, work behind the jab, attack the body. You, you, oh, you yeah. used to train his opponent moment up. How yes. is that helping your game plan uh, right now? Because I know how dirty he is. I knew that he did, oh. the same thing in, <laughs> he did the same thing in the gym. Low blow, and then he apologizes, but he does it on purpose. So, Manny, you know, thank you. You got it. Manny made it sound like that's why he's not training Bobby anymore. <laughs> and he does that in the gym. I couldn't handle it anymore. And then he apologizes. <laughs> Some significant swelling around the right eye of Simonov. And, and you know what you said, Jamel? You said, I don't think Bobby can fight moving backwards. And that's when he got caught with the overhand left, was moving backwards. See, hey, when you, when you, if you want to get out of the way of, of punches like that, you got you to gotta exit out of anger. Like you said, he moves straight backwards. That's how he got caught. Yeah. Moment of trying to put together some offense. And again, you're noticing that he's he's going up top. He's not he's not going to the body as he once was throughout the whole entire fight because of the point deduction. And the and the few body punches that he did throw were straight. And that would be my advice. Right. If you exactly. throw a body shot, throw a straight body shot. Don't throw a looping one that can, can be caught on the belt. Big right hand there by by uh, Bobby as well. Momonov doesn't look nearly as sturdy here in round six. But Ruiz doesn't take the full advantage. No. He's backing himself up on against the ropes game where he doesn't need to be at. He needs to set it up again with the jab and create those shots again. Pretty decent stabilizing round from Momonov after getting dropped. Oh. Goes back and eats a left. Almost ducked into another one. Wow. Yeah, it really is. And you think about that three-point round for Ruiz where Momonov had a point deducted in round five and knocked down Momonov to make it at least a 10-7 round. So intriguing scoring because Momonov had his moments in rounds two, three, and four. Let's bring in Steve Smoger for his thoughts. That was the key, gentlemen. That seven point, that 10-7, that, that, that three point round was the turning point. I have uh, Ruiz ahead by one point going into the final two rounds. Very close, very interesting. Something to note here, Mamanov was actually down in his last fight, September of 2020, against Vahanak Tamrazian in Russia. Got off the canvas, rallied back, scored a majority decision. Oh, Mamanov goes down again. Done line, boss. Five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. 
step to me, Bobby. Walk to me. Let me see your gloves. Good, good, good. Let me see your gloves. Good. Hold your gloves up. <laughs> Bobby wiped up on himself. <laughs> Bobby's got to move. I, I, he had the right game plan in this round, the right strategy. Uh, but he, he, he's going to get caught with a big punch from, from oh. pulling straight back. Yeah. Again. Break, 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 break. Hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Slip. Buy some more. Let's hey, keep hey, it clean. Hey, some time to recover. Cool, to yeah. And I had him winning Slip. this round prior to the knockdown. Don't tackle him. Clean. Box. Still plenty of time to go in the round. Yeah. And I like that when he isn't jumping straight in because that'll lead him to getting grabbed and by, you know, bumping over some more time. But he does need to use the jab and set the punches again. The sounds of these punches are pretty, pretty loud, too. Good body shot. Oh, oh. Offense to defense. You get, where's the defense? These guys are slugging. Nobody's got are, is responsible on defense aside from moving. Everything's on the line right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not here to complain about that, Sean. Just, yeah. just my two cents. Everything's on the line right now. <laughs> my whole thing is you got to separate yourself from the other guy. If if all I can do is use my feet and move, but I'm moving straight back. You know, where's my left, where my head movement side to side after I punch and land? You know, it's like you landed and you give it all right back. He's a slider. The rope and, he's stay, and you're oh. staying right there in line. Break! Step back! Some good body shots in there for a moment off. Ten seconds to the belt. But the big story in this round, moment off down again. That left hand is dangerous. Oh, it's a pop in that left hand. Ruiz got a, he got a dangerous left hand. A pop in that left hand. I need to see how this one landed. They're overhand, they're like an overhand left or like a looping hook right there. We'll see it one more time. And it's right on the chin. Boom, Ooh. right on the chin. You, you, you can teach it, but you can't teach it to be, the, be that crisp. And it's crisp when it lands. Final round. Hey, Mentioned good. Ruiz had never been past six before this one. Hey, great instructions from Coach on Manny Robles. Mm -hmm. You know, he told, he told him to go out there and take it, but be, but be smart. Yeah. Don't neglect your defense, because we, we all know that Marmanov is coming now. As you can see, he's coming, because he probably feels that like he's down. This is where he doesn't need to be at, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. He needs to slide over. There's a slide over. You like that one? <laughs> no, not that, no. I'm talking about the real needs to slide over from the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stay there. It's, it's almost like pacing himself is laying on the ropes and, and covering up, and it's just not good. Right. Yeah, ref saw that low blow, too. Movinov having success, though, forcing him to the corner. Movinov just missed with his own left. Get back on the stick. That's what he needs to get back to. Get back on the stick. But I like what I see from Movinov. He, he's, he's coming. He's putting the pressure on. Mm -hmm. Double left from Ruiz. Nice uppercut. Good body, good body. Shoe shot. <laughs> the Ruiz shoe shot. I like that. I think Marvin was a big gas staff, but he's still, he's still throwing though. Know. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. This is good work. Momonov just letting his hands go. Not as much steam as earlier, but he's carrying this round. Well, he's looking for one shot. That's the problem right now. Again, he needs to set it up. If Ruiz is not going to hold or get out of the way, Jamel, he's going to be in a lot of fire. Oh, yeah. He needs to be one minute left. He needs to play it smart. And just cruise and just cruise the victory at this point. And Momonov's problem is he's been dropped twice. Good short left by Momonov, and he's had a point deducted for a low blow. So 
Well, let me speak to this. Ruiz did not do what Manny Robles told him to do. Be smart, you, use your jab, and just keep working. That's what you should have done. That's not lay on the ropes, not get hit, because guess what? I won this fight, but I still suffered some injuries from getting taken unnecessary punishment. And you can see it from, you can see it from his posture that he's looking for that left uppercut. Yep. yep. He'll pause in between, yeah. cock the left, up, the left hand back, and, and just look for that left uppercut. He should just be boxing and playing it smart. Yeah, but he did the opposite of what Manny Robles told him. Complete opposite. Give moment off a lot of credit. Wow. Dropped twice and just fired away. Woo! Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. This is here inside of Hayes Gymnasium at the United States Military Academy at West Point. We go to the scorecard to determine a winner. Judge Pierce scores about 75-74. And judges Marlinski and Ezzo turn in identical scorecards of 76 to 73. Both in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Straight out of TJ. Aunque el relámpago.